Video 5 is very concerned about privacy. We do a lot of residential installs and privacy is paramount when it comes to putting video cameras in the living space. We're not a surveillance system. What we've done is we've separated security from surveillance so that we do not impinge on personal privacy. I know that there's a lot of nanny cams and IP webcams that are coming into personal homes now and that's fine they have a purpose you can log into them over the internet and see what's going on the trouble is anybody with a code can do the same thing they're sold at consumer stores and they can be self-installed what we have is something totally different there's no look-in with a videofied system again we have the indoor motion viewer the motion viewer has a camera and we have a passive infrared or PIR motion sensor. So when the motion sensor detects an intruder, it's the motion sensor that trips the camera and gives you video. So you only get the camera active when the motion sensor has been armed or when the system's armed and looking for intruders. This is not something that you have a look-in feature. You can't call in from the outside as a homeowner and look into your cameras. The good part about that is nobody else can either. So we're a system that delivers privacy and it's only when the panel is connected to the monitoring station that you actually have access to the cameras at all. So what we do is when the motion sensor trips, the camera takes the video and sends that to video of the intruder back to the monitoring station. There's no pre-alarm video because pre-alarm video means that the camera is on when there's no alarm. The camera is tripped by the PIR, and when the system is armed, an intruder comes in, you get a video, and when it's not armed, you're not calling up to the system and peeking. There's no wires, there's no peeking. In the videofied motion viewer, there's three AA batteries, and in a normal security application, they'll last four years. What that means is there's no transformer between here and the wall. There's no wires. Everything is run on battery. Many of you have digital cameras, and you know that digital cameras running on battery have a very definite life. What you know for certain is this cannot be filming for four years continuously, or those batteries would die. The second you put a camera with power, especially a wireless camera, you don't longer have that uh, assurance. In fact, when it comes to privacy, an IP camera is always recording. All you need is the code to go get access. An IP wireless camera is always filming and broadcasting, which is the worst of both worlds. What makes VideoFi different is that we're all encrypted, and it's not filming until there's an intrusion. So the motion sensor trips it. You get the camera active and you take the video. This is the VideoFight Outdoor Motion Viewer. This is designed for harsh outdoor environments meaning it goes from minus 20 below Fahrenheit or minus 33C to 140 or plus 70 C. It's waterproof, it's IP65 rated. They've actually gone through hurricanes. What's different and special about this motion viewer is there's a very sophisticated PIR. It's not the same as we have as an, in our indoor product. This PIR has dynamic sensitivity adjustment based on the ambient temperature. As the temperature approaches 98 degrees, it gets more and more sensitive because you have a 98 degree body moving on a 98 degree field. As it gets colder than that, it gets less sensitive to a point. We're based in Minnesota, and we know what winters are. And once you go below freezing and then below zero, nobody in their right mind is walking around in shorts. So the PIR actually gets more sensitive to pick up people in down coats, hats, and mittens. This motion viewer can take up to 3,000 videos on a single set of batteries or last up to four years in normal 
use. It's very easy to install. The outdoor motion viewer comes with a integrated nut where the typical video uh, mounting arms work. So it's very simple to put up. 